This past week has been a big one for Iowa politics. We start tonight breaking down last week's special session in the newest law Governor Reynolds signed on Friday. A historic special session banning abortion after cardiac activity is detected. Legal challenges are, are ahead after the bill was signed into law. Local 5's Dana Searles joins us now to break down what happened this week and what is coming next. Larissa, first the passing of this legislation, then a challenge in the district courts and the signing of the bill, putting it into law, a very active week for this controversial bill. Here is where it currently stands. The six week abortion ban bill is now into law after passing through the House and Senate in a rare special session. You know, sometimes folks have a short attention span, but this is a decision that will impact people for years and we need to be making sure that our legislators know how we feel. Days after the bill passed, Governor Reynolds signed the bill, putting this law into effect immediately. You know, the work that we've done together from the state house to the public square is making a difference. But as you all know, our work is not done. However, a legal challenge is still ahead. Various reproductive rights groups are asking for an injunction on this bill. The hearing for that took place the same time Governor Reynolds was signing the bill into law. This injunction would stop the bill from going into effect. However, the district judge is expected to make a final ruling on Monday or Tuesday. Now, Dana, we saw Kim Reynolds sign that bill at the Family Leadership Summit, and you were there. Um, tell us what you know and how the, res the Republican response from the Republican hopefuls. Yeah, Larissa, all of this happening as the, all the 2024 GOP candidates um, are coming to the state, and as you can imagine, a lot of questions were asked to those candidates about their views on this recent legislation. So here's what they had to say. This week brought several presidential candidates to Iowa amid a statewide abortion ban debate. All candidates showing strong support for Governor Reynolds and the passing of the abortion legislation. And so I think it was a celebration of a three branch system of government. I think it's a celebration of federalism. States now stepping in to fill the void created in a post row world. And I think that's what I think was most remarkable about what we celebrated today. I reached out to the Democratic Party chair Rita Hart for a statement on how the Democratic Party is responding to this. She provided me with a statement saying in part, quote, Iowa Democrats will continue to stand with the majority of Iowans who do not want these stricter abortion laws as we work towards regaining reproductive freedom. And while all these candidates were here, they praised Governor Reynolds for her work she is doing. In particular, Governor Ron DeSantis saying he would consider Governor Reynolds as a running mate in the upcoming election. One candidate not in attendance was former President Donald Trump. However, he is expected to visit Iowa on Tuesday.